right? So it's not usefulness that comes for happiness. It's happiness that comes for usefulness. Because happiness is a decision. It's not a result. It's a simple decision. Happiness comes from you being able to make a judgment. It comes from gratitude. It comes from perspective. It's not a result, it's a decision, right? So then let's look at another, another one of those uh, ignoramus statements. You know, I read one also that said, the purpose of life is to matter, to be productive, to have it make some difference that you live at all. That's both, the, <laughs> permit my language, but that's a piece of BS. You cannot, be, you cannot matter if you are not happy. It's when you are happy that you will matter, right? We want you to give them, give them your, your own happiness, right? When you are happy, then you will matter. When you are happy, you'll be productive. When you are happy, you will make a difference. When you are happy, you will make a mark. Again, happiness is a decision. It's not a result. It is a judgment. When you make that right judgment, it affects everything concerning your life, right? Happiness is what keeps us together. Happiness is what fuels everything that we do rightly, right? Let's go on. So uh, just some more definition around what happiness is, you know? So what is happiness? You know, um, some, some writer puts it like this, happiness is the ancient noble sense, right? Happiness, which means self-fulfillment, right? So uh, when, you, when you are making the right decisions, right, it would, it, it would, it would increase your happiness. It would, it would keep you in the path of happiness. But don't forget, happiness itself is a decision, it's not a result. No matter what you do, if you have not made a decision to be happy, you will not be happy. You have to also make that decision to be happy. Then everything that you do rightly will keep you or reinforce your happiness. Right? Uh, so, and, and I love the way Aristotle puts it. Happiness depends upon ourselves. It's a decision, it's a judgment. Right? Plato. Uh, believes that a happy person is one who has principles that sticks to them, right? You are in control of everything concerning your life, right? As Aristotle puts it, that happiness consists in achieving the course of a whole lifetime of all goods, right? So it's still talking about fulfilling purpose, right? But it's a decision, it's a judgment, right? So Happy people build their internal world. I mean, this was a quote I, I, I put down during the week. Talks about the happy people, you know, build their inner world, right? You make a decision to be happy, then you can build your inner world, right? Whereas unhappy people think that if you say that thing outside, that's make them happy or sad. So they're in a blame game, right? Happy people take responsibility. Unhappy people blame others. Right, uh, Nick's chair talks about the meaning of life is to live authentically and powerfully, right? Be authentic, sincere, true to yourself and to others, right? Yeah, and so someone puts that the meaning of life is, is, is one that strives for self-expression, right? When I'm happy and I, 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 I know myself, then I seek to express you know, the me that God has endowed me with, right? To fill the vacuum that there is in this life, right? And I'm not going to go through each of those. I'm just going to jump on and close this, you know? So it's all about making choices, right? And those are be conscious and deliberate, right? When we make choices, right? Uh, we were able to stay on, on, the, on the model of handing money, growing the money and enjoying the money, right? But we have to be on the driver's seat. We, have, we, we don't want our 
our we don't want anything driving us or controlling us right it's we sitting on that driver's seat to make the decision over our life right we're moving from a place of where we need to to a place of we want to right like Vito Frankel will say will say we are responsible we have to take responsibility for everything concerning our life nobody made us do anything nothing made us do anything we did or would do what we do because we make a decision to do it that's the way we can enjoy right uh, money in our lives right it's because we make the decision to hand it we make the decision to grow it so then we we make the decision to enjoy it because it is the fruit of our labor right it's not something that just fell in our way we, we, we took responsibility for the dictates of our life. Like Jim Rohn would say, when the time of others comes, right, we need to be matured enough to take responsibility for the others that we have, right? If it's bountiful others, then take responsibility because we're sold consciously. And if it's not good others, yeah, take responsibility also. Check what we did not do right so that we can correct it. Right, we're able to enjoy it because we labored, we sold for it, right? And 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 that that makes us qualified. There's no need to not feel guilty for enjoying that which the fruit of your labor, right? Not if you're stealing from anybody, man. You put in the right work into it to 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 earn it, right? To grow it. Why not enjoy it? You know. So I mean, uh, there's not much to say in in all. But I guess in, in closing, I see the book as a happy book. It talks about how to make money from a happy place. And the happy place is that place where you take full responsibility for your life, full responsibility for the money out on or for how you earn your money, full responsibility for how you grow your money, and full responsibility for enjoying it, right? We only live this life once. Right, might as well leave it well because once it's enough, if I leave it well, right? Uh, there's no shame, there's no guilty conscience in enjoying the fruit of my labor, right? God says that He has given us all things to enjoy, right? So there's no guilty conscience, you know, in the, in the time of others, right? It's for enjoyment, and that helps you in your happy place also, too, that keeps you rooted inside of it. All right, uh, I don't have much to say today, so I'm gonna close it up here. Uh, I don't have any of my people here to join me, so we're gonna shut it down here. Uh, next, we could do a summary. Uh, there is a summary chapter here, so we use the summary chapter here to do a summary of the book next week. And upper week, we'll take a break, and we'll be back with uh, our business goal, business is personal. All right, so I'm gonna shut this down here. Thanks for hanging out with me and uh we'll be here at the same time next week god willing all right bye bye enjoy your week